world that is pushing more so often to suppress your emotions and just suck it up and move through in life. It's a superpower to be emotional. It's a superpower to be in tuned with your emotions. We've been taught, a lot of us been taught at a very young age to suppress our emotions. You know those moments that we had when we were a kid and we might have fell down, may have got hurt, may have even got our ass whooped. And we we're crying because we we're hurt. Or maybe when a toy got taken away or some type of experience in every aspect, or maybe being yelled at. Maybe I'm just trying to think of other scenarios, but those are a lot of greatest scenarios <laughs> of showing just how situations that happen at a young age can bring up some emotions out of us, make us feel upset. And maybe you've been told by our parents, stop it or I'll give you something to cry more about. You're being too sensitive, suck it up man up you're being too emotional those are stuff we were told at a young age and at a young age like I said we've been taught to suppress things and then move forward in life maybe we've been taught that as well from people we're in relationship with friends all these different people you're being too emotional Stop overreacting. All the above. <laughs> I know I'm not alone with this. I definitely experienced that. And then what happens? You hold it in. When deep down, you just want to have a moment to just express how you authentically feel with your emotions. You want to cry. You want to scream. Ah! <laughs> and people who weren't ready for that suppressed it or gave you a reaction to make you suppress it why numerous reasons maybe in their world they don't see it that serious as you may have seen with your own perspective so that's why they can tell you that hey you're being too irrational too emotional and then what can happen from that we can take on that belief just because one person said it to us, just because our parents told us, maybe, just because an authoritative figure told us, you're being too emotional. Suck it up, man up, push through it. It's funny how that belief can really dictate us in our adult life. When we're upset, suck it up, keep working. When we're sad, suck it up, keep working. When we're angry, suck it up, keep working. Or suppress it. Medication, drugs, alcohol, sex, video games. Not so much video games. <laughs> I'll just say that from a biased perspective. But even those things are just a, being annoyed with everyone because you're not dealing with your emotions you're not being with your emotions you're walking around like a a zombie of all your emotions in you and never got an opportunity to process it until those moments trigger you that the volcano erupts because of those unprocessed emotions because we're afraid of processing our emotions because we've been told not to do it or maybe we got in trouble and got reprimanded for expressing our emotions, expressing how we feel, been told that it's not valid. So now we're believing that it's not valid, it's not true. This current environment is bringing up a lot of emotions out of all of us. 
and it's harder to do what we were doing before of suppressing, suppressing it. Maybe you gotta take more things to numb it down. Maybe you gotta have more distractions in your life. But I'm sure it's not working because if it worked, you wouldn't be having those emotions still, like how you have them. They wouldn't be getting as intense as they are. What if now is an opportunity for you to be free? Now is an opportunity for you to authentically express these emotions that's going on inside of you. What if now is a moment to stop giving a fuck how other people are gonna perceive those emotions because they're your emotions. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be seen. You, des be, you deserve to express how you authentically feel and what's going on with yourself first. Being with yourself, loving yourself, or even having that space of non-judgmental to be able to express how you feel with these emotions. Really be able to let, let out that anger that you've been holding on since childhood or the sadness from childhood or even the sadness from grief, the loss, especially right now during these times with this a lot of unknowns happening collectively. An opportunity to really allow yourself to process what's going on with you because unprocessed emotions does a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage in our life with everyone else. But more importantly, it does a lot of damage to ourselves internally with our health, our mental health, our inner health, because this just keeps getting piled in. Friction, friction, friction. You deserve to be able to express those emotions. You deserve to work through it. And what happens when you actually can work through those emotions? Peace. A more peaceful life. More support. Because you got you with your emotions. You are allowing you to be heard. And then you are also releasing those external judgments that you took on as internal judgments based upon other people who told you it's not okay to be emotional. It's a superpower. Now unleash it. Stay connected.